No, the title is not clickbait. This is actually really concerning. And if you do YouTubing for a living, you may want to dust off your resume. <laughs> Let's dive on into it, shall we? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's your host with the most Avery R32 here and destroy the boo-boo stain off that like and subscribe button so we can climb even higher the 1400 ladder. We're only four subscribers away, so we may as well just call it 1400 subscribers at this point as I make sure I'm recording. Yes, I am. Thank you so much for all this love and support. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So let's just dump the dump. Yes, let us take a dump into this because you're going to want to take a dump in your pants after you hear this news. Uh, there is no Yu-Gi-Oh! in Europe. Now, let's go ahead and kind of rewind the clocks back here and tell you what I mean. Um, I believe it's Solomon or Solemn Yu-Gi-Oh!, whichever. Um, he made a really good video talking about uh, how there has been a lack of events in Europe. And Robbie Cole actually sent an email to Konami a couple weeks ago now uh, asking about the Speed Duel GX Midterm Paradox box, which was very strangely pulled off of the European website for Yu-Gi-Oh! And there was no explanation as to why. We come to find out from an email reply sent back to Robbie Cole, this is a USA American-only set distribution. Now, uh, despite what you may think about Speed Duels, I think that they're personally garbage. Uh, it's really just an idiotic side format. Um, but there is a fan base there for it, and it's actually really good for reprints or even just making hollow what's usually like commons or rares or anything like that um so it was decent for that now at least for the time being europe is not getting any more speed duel product so i guess speed duels are just canceled in the europe side of the game which is still part of the tcg territories that's not really good but okay we, we can ignore that right now there's no events in Europe, at least for right now. And from what I have been told, at least from watching Solomon Yu-Gi-Oh's video, um, the German Opens and stuff are basically just glorified regionals. Similar to OTS Championships, they're just glorified locals, even though you got to fill out a deck list and stuff. So it makes me wonder, uh, what the fuck's going on with the game? That's not a good thing. And it's not like Europe was getting low attendance numbers. Like, who remembers, what was it, YCS Dortmund a few years ago, where there was YCS Dortmund 1 and 2, and they were right next door? Konami had to literally get more space for all of the players that wanted to play in this European YCS. I remember Sky Striker won the first one, and then some other deck won the second one. Like, that's insane. We've never heard of that before. And it makes me wonder, like, there seems to be some sort of restructuring going on, at least with in terms of how often product is getting released. But how much restructuring are they really doing? Like, have the attendance numbers really been that bad lately? Is there some sort of logistic issue with, you know, the current state of the world, with the wars that are going on and things like that? Is that a factor? Because they should at least be putting out a statement. I mean, outside of going to a local OTS store, I'm sorry, I have, like, an eyelash in my eye. <laughs> outside of going to your local OTS store, and I know I have a good chunk of European viewers, what are you really doing to play the game? This is not a good thing at all. And for those of you who might be in the States, like me, who might be saying, well, Avery, you know, it's a Tier 0 format, and at least we've got our events here in America, like, it's fine... This game lives and dies off of its competitive market. Like, casual Yu-Gi-Oh! doesn't fucking exist. I'm sorry. Like, just because someone plays on the playground with their friends and stuff, it's not how the game is surviving. The game is surviving because of the fact that Konami is live-streaming these big events and showing off what it looks like on the venue floor and having feature matches, and then little Timmy watches Avril R32 in a feature match killing it with tenpai dragons and or centurions and is like hey i want to do that too i want to be just like him and then you know they buy all their cards on the secondary market or sealed product preferably is obviously what konami wants and then they go to these events and then they scrub out and then they think at least they had a good time right so it's ending in europe who's to say it won't potentially end in america that is something that really has me worried um 
because we don't really know what's going to happen. You know, like, what else are they going to pull, you know, down the line? Are they going to pull support for the Time Wizard formats? Are they going to do less YCSs a year? Like, this is a stepping stone that should never be approached. You know, we're celebrating 25 years of the game, which I think feels like we've been celebrating 25 years for the past three fucking years. <laughs> but... We need to stop, like, all of the celebration of the 25-year crap, and we need to start moving back towards normalcy and scheduling YCSs and doing all of this stuff. So, like, what's Europe supposed to do? You know, and one of the, one of many great points that Solomon Yu-Gi-Oh! brought up was that, you know, all these other card games have, you know, events where you're making money. You know, like, you can go into a One Piece event and win a prize card and make a bunch of money, potentially. Pokemon, you know, there's money in the prize support. Um, Lorcana, Magic, uh, Flesh and Blood, which died here in Jacksonville, Florida many years ago. Uh, but they're having like $1.5 million tournaments on their pro league. And it's insane. And I know that Kazuki Takahashi didn't want any money being transferred in the game in Yu-Gi-Oh! And Yu-Gi-Oh! I think really is the one, like, big-name card game that doesn't do um, money for its winnings. And I can understand that from the wishes of the creator. That's fine. But why is there a lack of events? And could we see this come to America where there's less and less events to where eventually the game dies off? This is how games die. You know, it's, it's concerning. It's really concerning. And maybe konami is just this is all part of the restructuring right like maybe after we have worlds in september we'll see things kind of start to come back to center and hey here's a ycs in europe here's this here's that here's whatever maybe that's what they're planning because i don't think they would really want to stop while the iron is still hot you know they have great turnouts for events and i, I feel like events attendance has only gone up i mean i remember when i went to ycs orlando in 2010 and i think it was like maybe five six hundred people it wasn't that big of a ycs comparatively to what we have now and so it just makes me worried about what else might be down the pipeline that we may no longer see are they going to stop speed duels entirely once it dies here in the states are they going to stop doing ots packs and instead do i don't know some crappy astral pack again are we going to stop seeing Starlight Rares and Quarter Century Rares and go back to, I don't know, Ghost Rares? Like, it's it's just a really awkward time. And I know that some people are going to say, well, Avery, we're in a Tier 0 format where, you know, the best deck is $1,000. The prices have dropped a little bit, but still just over 1000 uh, bucks. Unless you're in Europe, where I've seen the prices are much more like twelve, thirteen, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500. And that is definitely a factor. I won't deny that. But... You take that factor away, and I don't feel like there's really much of a difference in that regard. You know, once we get Legacy of Destruction and a new ban list, I think things will be a bit better. But I don't think that, at least for Europe right now, I don't think things are going to necessarily get better. And that's really fucking concerning. So, if you're a YouTuber, you better start dusting off that resume just to be safe am i saying that the game is going to die tomorrow no the game is still doing very well but we've never seen a situation like this where there's no events in europe and again how long will it be if this kind of trend continues what if we stop seeing events here in the states or what if all of a sudden and i hope to god this doesn't happen because then the game will truly be dead we start seeing ycs events become best of one that's something to think about because that's what they do for YCS Japan. You don't even get to side deck. It's best of one, and the event itself is irrelevant. Again, that's more tinfoil hat conspiracy theory, but I'm, I'm throwing that out there, you know, just to give you some food for thought. I'm really concerned about this, and if you're a European player, please let me know, like, what, what are you doing during this time? Is the game just dead? Are there, like, OTS stores that are no longer supporting Yu-Gi-Oh! in your area? And if you're someone like me who's from the States, I feel like you should be concerned about this because this could happen in the States too. I'm not saying it's going to happen anytime soon. I'm just saying it's something to be concerned about. We all need to be playing the game and be involved. If Konami's pulling support, that's not a good thing. So... 
Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.